call this a shade that's the only of if uh, is shading the ebos is, is a charity begins at home or is he trying to encourage them wow only to ebo investors the only of if a or bad day yeah you go will see as urge the ebo investors to return home and start working with their suppliers to build alliances to that and so that they will build their manufacturing zones and develop the economy of the southeast adding that charity begins at home only disclosed this while speaking during the 35th annual general meeting of the manufacturers association of nigeria enugu eboi and anambra state chapter in enugu a lot of things are going on as far as uh, even before now uh, we have a uh, all the all the uh, a lot of companies especially in that abba is in abia state when you talk about uh, this is, there is a very big market in that place now so what are we talking about development in what sense there's something that these guys they need for that place to flourish and which is, is the seaport or which are the seaports about around that vicinity so until all of those things are being done mm -mm, the effects of their whatever is not going to come up that does not mean that uh, there are no manufacturing companies in that place there are lots of businesses heavy business is going on in that place only disclose this yes the revived monarch also has restated the bond of friendship and unity between Igbos and Yorubas. He pointed out that Yoruba and Igbos have similarities in culture, really, and cannot exist in isolation. Noting that the earlier the two races realize this, the better for their economic growth and prosperity. The royal father stated that unless Igbo investors develop the Southeast, no other person, tribe, or race will do it for them, adding that God had destined them for greatness. Only said, maybe our ancestors at some point once lived together. The better we come together, the better our industrial base will continue to grow. The better a lot of things will continue to be better. Why are all these similarities? Mm. Why are all these similarities? To me, little research will expose the hidden similarities existing between the Igbo and the Yoruba. Igbo means new dawn in Yoruba language okay that is why i think the Igbo do great things and when you touch business a people with the hands of god if you touch commerce you have touched everything they are the greatest entrepreneurs in our country when you continue to talk about the um uh, man manufacturing association of nigeria this southeast is the bedrock of it a whole lot of things emerge from Igbo land I employ each and every one of you. Please come together for the betterment of the yet unborn generation. Come together to lift each other up. Do not desecrate your brothers, irrespective of the ills you are bringing to the society. Your brother is adding value to the society. Start working with your suppliers to build alliances so that you will build their manufacturers' concerns and create manufacturing zones across the southeast because charity begins at home insecurity and the solution of the insecurity to the insecurity are uh, in your hands because you know your people nobody will come and do it for you you have the good and the ugly so bring out all that is causing trouble and hand over security to them and made and see whether there will be any more problems or not it might sound stupid but it it works all over the world if you do that i believe Igbo and Igbo land will be one of the most sought after all over the world the monarch lauded the chairman of the chapter ada chukudose for bringing Igbo manufacturers together chukudose in a speech urged the federal government to create regional incentives to support manufacturers and attract national and foreign direct investments she stated further that the eastern region needs to spearhead a free trade agreement like the African continental free trade area and integrate with other states. She urged the government to look towards promoting tax harmonization and other fiscal policies across the region and review taxation policies to make them more friendly, especially in the areas of haulage levies. They can introduce digitalized state togas target with a uniform fee but with a deliberate intention to recognize 
isolates support and incentive manufacturers by almost next to nothing fees. We want a complete elimination of the ag bureaus on the roads in the East region as they are too extortive, destructive and create unnecessary harassment, intimidation, fear and frustration. This has got into an alarming state now and hampering grievously the ease of movements and doing business in our land, she said. Chukudoze further appealed to the state in the southeast to find a way to end insecurity completely for the survival of the manufacturing sector. Enugu State Governor Peter Mba, represented by his deputy Ifani Osai, however, enjoined manufacturers not to hesitate in expanding their investments and operations in the state, in particular, and Southeast General. Mm, okay. That's fair enough. Talk is cheap, oh. <laughs> We pretend as if we don't even know the wickedness going on in the high, in the high places just to frustrate some people due to their political alignment. Please note that the only is not asking Igbos to leave the Yoruba domain, but giving them a valuable piece of advice. Honey, leave your mouth. Igbo man is a king anyway. Igbo man welcomes everyone to his house. Forget about uh, this sentiment. Honey, you are right, but it has already done. If not all West Africa will come to East and do business. <laughs> yeah, depending on how you want to take it. Like they always say, a word is enough for the wise. But generally, in the old Nigeria, what do they enjoy? Which, where, where is better? Ewo, Ewo. Which one? Ewo, Ewo. <laughs> so guys, uh, let's know what you think about this. Uh, like I said, fair enough from the uh, angle of the over of only of you fair.